Hello right, folks. Well, I'm back at it on this uh, Romeo and Julietta build. Uh, down here in the dungeon, what I like to call it. This is where I do all my finish work. As you can see, there's lots of different colors going on. I just do a lot of stuff and I save all my lids for some reason. I don't know. Pink can lids and Allen wrenches. Got tons of them for some reason. Anyways, uh, here's this neck. Three string. Got the whammy bar from MGB. It's a soft maple with ebony pearl markers. And I would say 90% of the time, this is what I use for my necks. Depending on the, the type of wood, uh, sometimes I can get by with two coats, sanding in between the coats. Uh, sometimes I have to uh, do a third coat. But this stuff is uh, really reliable for me and uh, uh, makes for a great finish. And I can kind of compare myself to that slogan. <laughs> so anyways, um, turning around here, set you up on this cedar slab. And I know I'm not really showing much, you know, I'm just going to be rubbing the, the wood, you know, I'm good at that. So, uh, Just soak your rag. You're gonna don't be don't be shady on the oil. Although some some woods take, you know, soak it up more than other woods. Yeah, that's pretty. I don't know. You probably can't see it that much from that angle, but uh, when I get done here, I'll, I'll turn you on to what this thing looks like. Looks really cool. The reason I use oil a lot of the times, I mean, sometimes I'll use polyurethane, uh, sometimes I'll use Danish oil, sometimes I'll use teak oil, sometimes I'll use tongue oil. Um, but this is kind of my go-to, this Minwax stuff. And I always like, Jessica has watched me a couple times. For those of you that don't know, Jessica is my wife. Uh, she likes to sit on the steps sometimes and, and watch me. And uh, she kind of described this as a real sensual pro, uh, pro, process, and she's correct. Um, you really got to uh, have a feel for the wood and, and get that oil really soaked in there. Um, and then it'll cure in the wood. I'm gonna put a little bit more on my rag. I gotta go do real work today. It's pretty cold in, outside in Nebraska. Um, I just gotta install a mailbox. So hopefully it won't take too long. I gotta install it on it. On a brick surface so hammer drill a couple tap cons and an impact and uh, should be good so really just rub that in there really nice especially the end grain that'll soak up a lot
and I usually, in between coats, um, I suppose it takes probably, I like to go at least six hours uh, in between coats if I can. This is gonna be a real pretty neck. Wood's kind of like this ebony or rosewood. Um, you know, it's better to probably use teak oil. Uh, I don't know the scientifics of everything, but uh, teak oil seems to soak into those real harder woods better with the real tight grain. So now that my rag is slopping wet, dripping, um, I just wring it out, get it semi dry. I don't like to use a dry, dry, you know, brand new rag, but I want to get rid of a lot of the excess, excess here. Especially off of the fretboard because sometimes the oil, when you're rubbing it down, it'll go into the fret slots and then after, you know, over time, it'll start seeping out and then you'll have, they won't go too far, but there'll be little kind of windrows of oil that just stick around the fret slots and and uh, doesn't really look that good, you know. And you gotta sand it out flat, but we'll just wipe all the excess oil off here. In my final wiping, you know, I try not to. Obviously with gloves on, you're not gonna leave fingerprints, but you know, I, I start at the top, the headstock, and I work my way down, wiping all the leftover oil off. But I'm more of a up and down process, kind of like this. Hold it at the heel. This is going to be a bolt on neck, so the heel will be buried. But uh, I just like to do this to get it, uh, get it nice and even. Just one, one direction, one motion. Kind of just get it all nice and uh, flat or whatever. Cool. And a uh, uh, safety tip. You know, everything goes in this trash can over here. But there are some oils and waxes uh, like uh, Johnson's Paste Wax. Um, it can... Um, Start, start uh, I don't even know what it's called, molting. And I've had actually um, rags in the trash can that start trying to start uh, fire just by sitting there. So always take your rag in your hand and pull your glove over the rag. That way it's in there. And it has no reason to, um, you know, start a fire. Combust. That's the word. Combust. So just like that. I'll turn you around again and show you this.
really cool. If my phone would focus, there's some, it looks pretty cool. You know, I like to use <coughs> mix matched stuff a lot so you can tell where the scarf drawing at. Um, you know, the, so a little bit different color and I personally kind of like that. So I'll come back uh, later this evening. I'll sand her down with uh, 320 grit and wipe her down with uh, tack cloth and put another coat of oil on. So thanks for watching.